What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play with CJ Twitter Focus. And this happened over the weekend, but they're reversing course today. Um, the New York Islanders scratched Ryan Strom, my friend Dylan Strom's uh, brother. And, uh, you know, he's back in the, They scratched him against St. Louis on Saturday night, and he's back in the lineup tonight against Calgary. Calgary looks like shit, having lost a real bad one to the Rangers last night. So they'll be playing some desperate hockey, and he'll get to play against his former junior hockey teammate. Douglas Hamilton from the uh, Niagara Ice Dogs day. days. All right, now that that's out of the way, I think it's ridiculous, you know, that he was scratched in the first place. I mean, you look at his body of work this season, five points in seven games. He's playing with Tavares today. So, I mean, obviously the scratch wasn't an in, uh, indictment on his offensive abilities. But they scratched him to put Steve Bernier. Yes, that's Steve Bernier in the lineup against St. Louis because they felt they needed something different. Now, in fairness, they did get the win in overtime against a good Blues team, albeit a banged-up Blues team. Um, so, you know, I, I really can't come on, come down too hard on Jack Capuano, but at the same time, it's like, dude, I hate when teams hold younger players more accountable than they hold their veterans. You know, clearly there was some reasons I don't, you know, didn't do this offensively. His last game, it's the Bruins. The Islanders lost to, you know, the, the abomination is the Boston Bruins. Uh, he had an assist with minus two. Probably could have, you know, done a few things differently in that game. But at the same time, it's like, you know, let this kid do his thing. There's going to be some learning curves. He had 50 points last year. You know, he's going to, I think, be a, a, a long time, you know, 60 to 70. You know, maybe peak at age. huge. Get 80 points in today's league is harder than ever. But when you play with John Tavares, uh, you know, don't rule it out. It's just, I wish a lot like the Bruins did with their, you know, younger players. You know, it was Phil Kessel or Larry Tom Sagan, and now it's going to be David Pasternak. Take good with the bad. You know, let the youthful mistakes happen, but understand that, those youthful mistakes help turn into better players down the line, help the team down the line, you know, again. And mistakes happen in the game of hockey. I can't tell you how many times Claude would bench Sagan for a mistake and Bergeron would do the same thing, shift later, and he wasn't making an example out of Bergeron. It would be like, you know, hold the veterans to the same standard you hold the young kids and, uh, you know, let the creativity take over. Sometimes it's a double-edged sword, but that's the thing about if you want to win in the NHL, You've got to uh, get to embrace the good with the bad. And I hope the Islanders don't scratch strong the rest of the season. Because he's fun to watch. He's an exciting player. His brother's a good kid. And, uh, you know, he's going to be a big part of the Islanders' success for a long time. Anyway, that's all I got this episode of the Power Play with CJ. Stay tuned for more episodes throughout the season and beyond. Also, playoffs are embarrassing. Later, guys. Thinking way too far ahead.